Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to my fellow friends and lecture. As you guys can see, this is the diagram for the ADSL frequency bands. POTS stands for Plain Old Telephone System, however ADSL is an asymmetric digital subscriber line. ADSL is designed to coexist with the standard POTS spectrum as ADSL were using higher frequency compared to the normal POTS spectrum. In fact, the frequency band dedicated for voice on POTS is from 0.3 to 3.4 kHz, but the bandwidth is 3.4 to 4 kHz used as a gap band to avoid interference in modern communication. In fact, the gap band that we use was specified to the V.90 standard. ADSL is the full communication, full, communi full duplex communication that we're using an FDD, which is um, frequency division duplex or TDD time division duplex and ECD eco cancelling duplex. However, the normal provider will providing us with ADSL that's according to the FDD approach. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, for the next part is uh, ADSL user spectrum between 25 until 1104 kilohertz. For the lower band, it uses 25 until 138 kilohertz for the upstream communication while the higher band use 138 until 1104 kilohertz for downstream communication. Hello guys. So next, I will explain to you about the modulation used in ADSL, which is DMT or discrete multitone. Discrete multitone is a method of separating a digital subscriber line signal so that the usable frequency range will be separated to 256 frequency band and each of them is 4.3125 kHz. Within each channel, modulation use quadratic amplitude modulation. By varying the number of bits per symbol within a channel, the modem can be rate adaptive. Okay, that's all for ADSL frequency bands and modulation. That's all from us. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>